So we have this betrayal of the heart, an emotional disappointment. We have somebody's heart blocked here with the two of swords. And then we have the three of swords, which, which is the betrayal. We have the ten of swords, which is an ending, and the seven of swords, which is a hidden agenda, a sneaky move, right? And then we have the ten of swords, like I said, which is an ending, but the knight of pent pentacles. This came out to clarify the question, what are you waiting for? You're waiting for somebody to bring you something real, a real offer. Hi, Gemini. This is your general tarot reading for December 2020. Thank you for joining me. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for, for clicking on this uh, tarot reading. If you're coming back, thank you. It's good to have you back again. If this reading resonates with you, hit the like button. It really helps to contribute to the success of the channel, helps the video, the reading to get seen by others. Um, leave a comment below as well. I love chatting with you. I love the feedback. I love learning about your situation and how the reading applies to your situation. And um, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can look in the description box below. I have a link there um, where you can go to my shop that offers a variety of different personal readings. So, all right, I've shuffled your cards off of camera, meditating on your cards. I'm gonna give them one last shuffle. We're gonna look into your heart, your mind, and your body. We'll look at the past, present, and the future. We'll pull clarifying cards and a card of guidance for you as you navigate December. So let's sync up. I'm gonna cut the deck three ways. Working with the Mother Peace tarot deck today. In the position of your heart and the present moment is waiting. Very ripe. I mean, almost ripe. Almost ripe. Almost ready to be picked. So this is a card of really waiting. I mean, you've you've been through it, like this this pregnant woman. You've been through the gestational process. You can't rush it. You can't force a baby to be born. You can't um, pick a watermelon and eat it before it's time. It just won't taste good and it won't be right. So there's an element, element of divine timing here. And this is in your heart and your present moment, waiting. What you think about it all, five of cups, there's been an emotional loss. There are feelings of sadness, regret, disappointment and love, emotional disappointment. That's in your headspace, in your body, in your foundation. We have the three of wands. Wow. This is again, a waiting card in the traditional deck. You see a man standing on a cliff, looking out uh, upon a sea, waiting for his ships to come in. So there's somebody is waiting for something in a waiting phase. It reminds me of that Dr. Seuss um, book. Oh, the places you'll go. There's a part of that book that talks about the waiting place. Um, three of Wands in this deck is about creative expression, learning how to express yourself. There's a teacher-student dynamic here. The freedom and the play and the joyousness that comes with creative expression. This is in your body and also in the foundation. All right, in the position of your past, we have the Shaman of Swords. Ooh. Um, clarity, truth, communication, uh, higher vision, higher understanding, future, future vision as well. This card particularly is about using your voice. It's, excuse me, connected to the throat chakra. So it's about using your voice to create change. Words were spoken in the past. In the future, we have the devil. This is a tie, a toxic tie, a tie to some system that has you feeling bound and oppressed. Addiction. It can be an addiction to anything, to, to worry, to um, substances, to work. It can be an addiction to work for sure. Um, but it's it's got a toxic edge, like it's not necessarily healthy for you. That's in the future. Let's clarify these cards. What are you waiting for? We have a waiting card that showed up twice. 
waiting for the time to be right. Um, these cards that just flipped out, I'm going to read. I'm just going to pull these top two that I saw the first. We have a betrayal of the heart. And we have somebody who's blocked. Blocking. Sometimes the two of swords is seen as like going within to find the answer. You know, needing to eradicate all external stimulus in order to hear your voice, your inner voice of wisdom, your inner truth, connect with your inner truth. But it's also seen as a, a card of having your heart blocked. So it could be that there was some sort of betrayal, emotional betrayal, and now there's a, a feeling of like, nope, I'm blocking you. Could be that you were blocked or you blocked someone else. All right, what is, what is this waiting about? What is Gemini waiting for here? Gemini, what are you waiting for? <clears throat> In December. I just saw the four of pentacles, which is holding on. Knight of pentacles. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for somebody to approach you with something real with a real offer you're waiting for someone to approach you with a real offer the knight of pentacles is very slow moving it's the slowest moving knight they're very methodical they're very thoughtful their their approach is slow but when they get there <laughs> it's they make an offer that lasts it's a long lasting reliable stable secure offer so there's been some sort of betrayal there's been a block either someone is blocked or you have been blocked you've blocked another person now you're waiting for somebody to come in with a real offer but they're moving slow they're moving slow yeah there was an ending of some sort some sort of deception some sort of sneaking away Somebody had a hidden agenda, something hidden. It was a surprise. Um, and they kind of snuck away in the night, right? Okay. <laughs> something, something ended. Somebody feels deceived. Somebody feels betrayed and heartbroken. There's been a block in the connection. And... What you're waiting for is somebody to come in with an offer of something real, solid, secure, stable. <clears throat> What's this devil about in the future? For Gemini? What's this devil about? What's What are they tied to? Oh, excuse me. Whoa. What are they tied to here? What is this toxic tie coming in the future? It could be the thing that you need to break out of, right? Because look, look at this woman at the far bottom here. She's actually breaking free. It could be signaling something that you need to break free from. Okay, we got a lot of cards that came up, so let's read them. <laughs> a lot of major arcana cards. Holy moly. Okay. Competition testing energy diverse energies being expressed in a sort of competitive testing way feeling like you were left out in the cold this is all clarifying the devil this could be old programs that you're attempting to loosen inside of yourself we have the hierophant this is uh well it's a lot of things it's the marriage card it's commitment. When this comes up in a love reading, it is often seen as taking it to the next level or marriage of some sort. It's also um, spiritual guidance. This hierophant leads a community where it comes to their spirituality. Sometimes it's seen as systems. Like I said, in this particular deck, the devil represents a system that you're tied to, that oppresses you, that feels oppressive, that no longer serves you. And the Hierophant is, can be seen as a rigid system or institution, like a religious institution or a corporation. 
there's not a whole lot of flexibility there. The Hierophant is the Taurus card, the sign of Taurus. We have the Judgment. So yeah, like you woke up to something or are about to wake up to something in loosening this devil's grip on you. Breaking free from some, some idea, some well-established idea or belief system that you were um, very invested in. But it was also very confining. Mm. Truth. Justice, where it comes to a situation. Truth, where it comes to a situation. Balance, equilibrium. Look at the scales. It's like the it's like something is finally made right and then stepping into your quintessential energy the empress that is all clarifying the devil wow so these two came out these were the miners that came out to clarify the devil there's this feeling of being left out in the cold. Also, recognize that they're outside of a church, outside of a, a well-established, archaic system. Fighting, competition, the testing energy. Do you have what it takes? Do I have what it takes? Then we have the Hierophant that, again, speaks to a religious inst institution or some long-standing system or some long-standing system that is pretty rigid, can be pretty rigid. Wanting the truth around something, wanting something to be balanced, the scales to be balanced, to finally know the truth, for the truth to be uh, revealed. And then stepping into your quintessential energy, stepping into your power, knowing your worth, knowing your value. Wow. What was this loss? What was this loss that you're thinking about? Five of Cups. What is this loss that Gemini is thinking about? And also I want to know about the, the Shaman of Swords. A new fiery passion at beginning. When I asked what is this loss, that's what came out. Let's keep going with what is this loss. What's the Five of Cups? Clarify the Five of Cups, please. Ooh, Page of Swords. Immaturity. Immature communication. Immature approach. Manipulative. Shaman of Swords. In your past. This is using your voice. Words were spoken. What is this Shaman of Swords in the past about? Let's see, did something flip up? Yeah. Oh, another new beginning. Yeah, and it is about communication. Hermit reversed. Huh. Hermit reversed. Ace of Pentacles. New home. New home, new job, new career, new love. It's something real. A new beginning where something real, solid, 3D is concerned. Fast-moving communication. This happened fast. A new home came in fast. Or a new reality came in fast. You felt alone. You were alone. And came out of that time of solitude or loneliness or aloneness due to the fact that there was a new beginning here where something real is concerned that came in very quick. Notice there's a lot of fast-moving energy around the Shaman of Swords, too. Like, this is truth and clarity and making a definitive decision in the past, which led you to the pro present moment, which was waiting, 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 waiting for the right time. So you have this fast-moving energy in the past, then comes the present moment, which is just like that forever feeling of the waiting place. Everybody's just waiting. 
Now to clarify the waiting place, we have this betrayal of the heart, an emotional disappointment. We have somebody's heart blocked here with the two of swords. And then we have the three of swords, which, which is the betrayal. We have the ten of swords, which is an ending, and the seven of swords, which is a hidden agenda, a sneaky move, right? And then we have the ten of swords, like I said, which is an ending, but the knight of pent pentacles. This came out to clarify the question, what are you waiting for? You're waiting for somebody to bring you something real, a real offer. In the future, we have the devil. This is a toxic tie to something well-established. It could be a church. It could be a religion. It could, could be a belief system, a religious belief system. And you're wanting the truth. You're wanting the truth. Like a wake-up call. Like bring the truth to me like a wake-up call. Balance the scales. Karmic justice. Stepping into your power. Knowing your worth. Knowing your value. Wow. Okay. Card of guidance for Gemini, please. This thing that you're thinking about, this emotional loss, has to do with a fiery, passionate, creative new beginning. And also has to do with an immature personality. Somebody who is impulsive and rash, cutting, petty, sometimes a gossip. Immature communication. Okay, guidance card for Gemini, please. Do I just all possum? My back is hurting today. That's why I keep moving around. That doesn't usually happen here on this couch. Is your back hurting? Okay. Ooh, armadillo. I think this is about defense. Let's read. Hmm. It's 28. 8 plus 2 is 10. That's finality. That's an ending. Boundaries. Boundaries. What a gift it is to set your boundaries so that harmful words... Oh, we talked about an immature communication. So that harmful wor words or intentions just roll off. Your lesson is in setting up what you are willing to experience. If you do not wish to experience feeling invaded, just call on armadillo medicine. If armadillo has waddled into the cards you chose, it is time to define your space. You may have been too willing to let your home become a bus station. You may find that you cannot say no even when you know that you will have to cancel plans to be obliging. This routine can get old in a hurry. <clears throat> What you will and won't do, what makes you feel uncomfortable and what is comforting to you. How you react in any circumstance has to do with your ability to be objective. You cannot be objective if you cannot tell where the other person's personality stops and where yours begins. If you have no boundaries, you are like a sponge. It will seem as if all the feelings in a room full of people must be yours. Ask yourself if you are really feeling depressed or if this feeling actually belongs to the person you're talking to. Then allow Armadillo's armor to slice in between, giving you back your sense of self. Interesting. So this speaks of like, you know, boundaries. Like where do you, where do you begin and where does another person end? Did I say that right? Who are you? What is your identity? Um, I only bring that up because this devil card in the future, sometimes by other readers, is a sign that there's codependency happening in a relationship. And codependency, the hallmark of codependency is when um, your identity becomes so wrapped up with another person's identity that what they do is a reflection on you, right? So if you have a child and you're kind of in a codependent dynamic with your child or with a parent, your child's success is a direct reflection on you personally. 
um, how they feel is how you feel. There's no distinction there between who you are as a person, your own unique personality, your own unique characteristics, and your own native emotional reality, and the other person's stuff. It all kind of gets enmeshed. Um, and so Armadillo is calling you to create healthy boundaries. To really look at what is comforting to you, what's comfortable for you. Um, and to define your space in that way. If this reading resonated with you, Gemini, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel. Leave a comment below. I'm really curious about how this might be resonating with you. I'd love to chat with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, I'm doing those. Um, we can dive deeper into this scenario or another scenario. Um, I'm wishing you the best in December. I hope you take good care.